My dearest Michael, my darling, when we first stood on this beach two years ago, I didn't expect to return here beside you as your wife. Last two years, as I'm sure we will agree, has been nothing short of a whirlwind. Over 20 flights, 200,000 miles traveled to make our relationship work. To be here today. It's a beautiful place, it's a big place, and it's like a big garden. In this big garden, there are just so many things to do. Falling in love is easy. Getting married, the wedding day, takes work, but it's nothing compared to a garden that you have to maintain, keep beautiful, keep growing. It will take hard work. Right. The garden needs a lot of hard work. I, Michael Coy Spellings, vow to respect you for the amazing woman who you are. Learn from my errors. See the hard times as lessons for the good. Be kind and patient. Never leave your side when challenges arise. Love your family as I do mine, and always chase seashells, love of my life. I love you without knowing how or where, when or from where. I love you simply, without problems or pride. I love you in this way because I do not know any other way of loving but this in which there is no I or you so intimate that your hand upon my chest is my hand so intimate that when I fall asleep your eyes close I love you baby It is my great pleasure and honour to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Sarah Spellings. I am very glad that she did not marry the first man she met. I'm very glad that she waited to marry Mr. Michael Spellings, for which we now are part of a wonderful family. And today, I realize that that family extends beyond the States, but across seven countries. And it warms my heart very much. Oh.